They did it, they did it, yet again another year and another result for Manchester City. <laughs> I probably did that intro last year, like the same intro. <laughs> and yesterday they didn't even hype us up, they didn't even let us hope. <laughs> they just killed it in the second minute. Congrats to Manchester City, obviously, they deserve this title. Ladies and gentlemen, we'll go through what happened last night, we'll look at memes, we'll look at analysis, everything, everything. Let's do this. If you're new to the channel, you know we love to do this. We watch at the pre-game and what the fans think pre-game. Arsenal FC, ladies and gentlemen, they <laughs> dropped a video before the game. Keep believing. Dot Arsenal FC. And they literally dropped a little video package actually. <laughs> <laughs> you know, as much as I hated City winning, <laughs> I love Arsenal losing. <laughs> Someone wrote they did like a whole Calvin Klein advertiser <laughs> just to end up losing. <laughs> or not losing, just you know, losing the title, yeah. <laughs> they think they're cold. <laughs> Might as well put that Anthony picture as well in that edit. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, pre-game part two, they <laughs> dropped videos. Believe! Look at this. <laughs> Believe, guys! <laughs> they really thought they would score in the last minute and <laughs> Man City trip up in the last minute. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh boy, they did not know that it took them literally two minutes. <laughs> two minutes is what it took. <laughs> Two minutes in the City game and Foden scored the goal. Pre-game they even did photo edits ladies and gentlemen of Saka taking off his shirt in the dying moment. <laughs> Saka didn't do anything in last night's game by the way. Just letting you guys know. <laughs> and the craziest thing of them all man. Last night before the game, before the Arsenal game, they had the Premier League title and the podium ready. <laughs> Imagine. It was literally in the arena last night and they did not win it. They really thought they were gonna win it. They, they were this confident that they were win it. <laughs> if I was Arsenal, I wouldn't bring this to the goddamn arena before the game. Do you know how embarrassing that is after the game once we don't win it? You know, you can say whatever you want about Manchester United and finishing whatever we finished, right? Eight towards it. I'd rather finish eight. I'd rather finish third, fourth, fifth than finishing second and I know a lot if you guys are athletes if you are in a competition finishing second is the worst thing possible because you were just so close but yet so far that he did not do it on the second consecutive year for sale celebration arc never used <laughs> and there it is there is the poster for champions of England back to back for four consecutive years ladies and gentlemen Pep Guardiola has literally done it yet you know as a Manchester United fan I really hate to say this but Manchester City they they genuinely deserve it and ladies and gentlemen as you know Manchester City winning the title people will come and hate on it people bring this up saying that Manchester City basically have been cheating for years and in my opinion as a Manchester United fan how shameless can you be to bring this up as an excuse? If the players were literally doping or something like that, taking something before the game to enhance their capability on the pitch, fine, that's cheating and they should be punished for that. But how <laughs> are you using this as an excuse to the dominance they had in the past decade? Saying that, oh, they broke a couple of laws here and there of transfers. That's why they have been winning every title every year. No, you're just bad. Year by year, they have improved. They made the right decisions. They made the right transfers. We didn't. They invested in players with a future. Well, we have invested in Anthony. We have been investing in goddamn Casemiro paying him 400000 Weekly. Oh, I bet you that Manchester City with the oil money they have, they're not paying a 30-year-old plus player 400,000 euros weekly. That's for sure. Cannot even hate on them at this point. They dominated so hard. They made the Premier League look like God, the Bundesliga. They're literally calling it the Farmers League now. <laughs> 
And this perfectly <laughs> describes what I'm saying. 150 charges! They, it doesn't matter! It generally doesn't matter. I mean, sure, if they are charged, I believe they take some of their trophies. But I believe it's trophies before 2018 anyways. They will still keep the Champions League. They will still keep four or five, six of their goddamn Premier League titles. They will still be bigger than most of the Premier League teams. Even if they take away the titles before 2018 and they were found guilty now let's talk about arsenal and every arsenal fan crying saying oh so unfair <laughs> it's so unfair what do you mean unfair look at rodri in this post-match interview right how do you do it what does the manager do what do you guys as players what sort of demands do you put on each other i think to be honest okay. it's in here is uh, the mentality i mean unfortunately man city don't have the mentality when it comes to champions league but <laughs> Uh, Arsenal also, they deserve us. They 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 went there. They did an un unbelievable season. But I think the difference was in here. When they come here, when they they face us here in the Listen in the this. Etihad, I I saw them. Ah, uh, these guys they don't want to beat us. They just want to draw, you know. And that mentality, I think we didn't we wouldn't do it the same way. And we catch it. We catch it. And at the end, if you give us one point. We will win the last seven, eight you games, even though punished. how tough it is. So you I think it's time of understanding. Give them one point, you'll get punished. And that is the exact reason on why Arsenal choked this league. Arsenal bottled this league. No unfair here. You were just not good enough in here. Playing wise, you were good, but it was genuinely all in here. And I got receipts. Four carry seats, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> At full time, Arsenal fans reacted to this when they drew against Manchester City. Yes! Come on! <laughs> well done, Arsenal! It's not a win, but it's a fucking good effort. Oh, oh my god. I take oh it my god. You lost the game here. Long. This, yeah. You lost the title here. This right here is when you lost the goddamn title. Celebrating a draw against Manchester City in the end, almost at the end of the season it was. You needed to win City. You needed to beat City to win this title. And everyone knew that. Everyone knew that. You knew that. But you did not even try. You did not even give it your all because here that was the difference between City and Arsenal. Speaking of mentality, this was Kai Havers, the Arsenal player, after the game. Yeah, we've talked all season about the character that this Arsenal team have shown. Did we see that again today after you went behind to okay. come back and win this game? <laughs> yeah, we showed again a great character. They did show a game. They didn't make it easy for us since the first minute. They just played with the time. Every throw and every ball, they take time. It's, in my opinion, is uh, yeah, sometimes not fair in football, but we have to accept it. <laughs> football is hard, but hopefully we can. Not fair. You're saying, oh, last night you went behind and they started wasting time. Is not fair. Football is not fair. Manchester City winning the title, not fair. How is it not fair? How is it? Not fair! You did not win the games you were supposed to win! You celebrated a draw against Manchester City! And on top of all of that, right? The fact that your fans were saying this, depending on West Ham to beat Manchester City, <laughs> and you guys were butthurt after the game, you depended on West Ham winning against City last night, but you yourself the reason that you did not win the title last night is because you yourself could not even beat West Ham, the team you were depending on last night to beat Manchester City. You didn't do it yourself. Why are you sad there saying it's unfair? And congrats to Manchester City again. That's the analysis part of the video. Congrats to Arsenal because they believed. <laughs> Enjoy your belief, uh, your belief uh, trophy eh, that you won last night. <laughs> that aside, favorite part of the video is coming up. The memes. New generation of Spanish managers won the league in his first season. Amazing. Won the league in his first season. Amazing. Tr <laughs> Trust the process. Arteta's fifth season. I mean, hey, maybe next year you're going to win it. Don't stop believing. <laughs> Good things take time. Teaching myself to be alert so I can... <laughs> <laughs> oh. 
how to be alone. <laughs> Worst pitch invasion football has ever seen. Oh my god, I saw this. Oh. It's like... Yeah, the security guard didn't even bother if you guys saw that. He's like, Manchester City, they don't... They barely have any fans. I mean... <laughs> should we stop them from running to the players? Let, let the players have a sense of what having fans is. The Premier League trophy, Arsenal will be lifting on <laughs> Even I'm lifting it, guys! Even I'm lifting it! Let's go! <laughs> we have the same trophy! Driving home after Man City just won the league on the final day of the season. What? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Oh boy, ladies and gentlemen, new year, new bottle for Arsenal. <laughs> this time it comes in white. Last year, I believe it was red. This year it comes in white, ladies and gentlemen. So whenever they're leading the title race. Right. Go on, Arsenal! Go on, Arsenal! Win the title! <laughs> Let me guess. Who won? <laughs> Plastic bottle. Mm, okay, that's a nice bottle. Glass bottle. Mm, okay, okay. Metal bottle. Ooh! ooh. Le league. <laughs> I asked Bukayo one thing: Champions League or Premier League? Mm. Oh, both. Yeah. I asked Bukayo one thing: Champions League or Premier League? Mm. Oh, both. <laughs> Champions League or Premier League? Both. <laughs> Might as well do that, Anthony. Look right there and say that. <laughs> Bro thinks he's Anthony. <laughs> Bro really thought he would be in an edit in the future. Him saying both with Arsenal lifting both trophies. Nah, 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 nah. Get the hell out of here! Awesome. Let them chase Pep Guardiola out of Premier League. <laughs> Why? It's a cheat. 2018 to 2019, Liverpool came out second with oh 97 points. Guardiola oh. won the league with 98 oh points. Oh my god! That season was mad. That season was lit. How do Liverpool fans are literally breathing to this year? Unreal, man. 97 points and Guardiola won by 98 points. To 2021, Liverpool 92 points, Gadula won the league 93 points. Now, last season, Arsenal 84 they points, won Gadula point won the league with about 88 points. This Three season points. again, Arsenal will probably end the league with 89 points, Gadula will still end up yeah. with 91 points. Leaks chase this man away <laughs> from the league. We don't need him, Insane, man. He, Guardiola, you have to respect the brother, he's the coldest guy he's he doesn't have the aura of jose Mourinho. i'll be honest he's not as cold as jose Mourinho. he no one will be as cold as jose Mourinho. let's be honest but he's goddamn cold once he ends his career i don't fans. really know how you cope with this stuff okay. i've been in such a foul mood from the 12th minute of this game <laughs> okay. my wife and kids were out today my wife takes my kids out to some classes on saturday mornings and she came home and they oh. came home and i was just <laughs> unhappy miserable and everyone could tell they're saying daddy daddy what's the matter <laughs> manchester city are winning son that's what's the matter someone please stop foden's son okay what the hell is foden's son doing here right why is he popping a champagne bottle right here <laughs> someone please stop foden's son someone please stop foden for the love of god he's been on fire he's unbelievable He's genuinely unbelievable foden man we need to talk about foden i mean if real madrid doesn't win the champions league and Foden goes and wins the Euros. Should we give the Ballon d'Or to Harry Kane or Phil Foden at this point? Phil Foden has been genuinely unbelievable, man. So Manchester United, you said I was going to forget about you guys. You guys ended with your lowest ever Premier League finish in your club's history. You finished the season eight <laughs> with a minus one goal difference. Do you guys realize how that embarrassing that is? Minus one goal difference. You couldn't even get more goals than you conceded. Our lowest Premier League finish. Yeah, we finish 8th. But hey, Arsenal fans. There is one more game to go for us, Manchester United, which is the FA Cup final. <laughs> Why am I saying that? Because, ladies and gentlemen, if Manchester United wins the FA Cup against Manchester City, we will be ending the season as more trophies than Arsenal FC. <laughs> and if we beat City and get the FA Cup, the worst Manchester United team in the history of the club 
has more trophies and will be ending the season with more trophies than Arsenal's best team in the last decade. <laughs> And you're out here calling us out for the negative one goal difference. I mean, once we win the FA Cup, the difference between trophies this season of Manchester United and Arsenal <laughs> will be negative one. <laughs> well, why is Kobe Mainu not on this graphic? He should be in this graphic. He was one of the better shining lights in this season. And if it wasn't for I Bruno Fernandes... Why was Kobe Mainu not on this graphic? I mean, I have one question I'll ask you, Arsenal fan. Why were the entire Arsenal team not on the graphic of the Premier League winners 24-25 season? Oh, it's because you bottled it yet again. <laughs> and that is it, ladies and gentlemen, for today's episode. <laughs> Comment down in the comment section. What did you think? of last night do you think city deserves it do you think arsenal deserved it in my opinion city deserved it because they are just the better team they are one of the best teams in the world right now if not the best team in the world and that's coming from a united fan but we're going to ruin that fa cup final ladies and gentlemen manchester united versus manchester city 25th of may we're gonna be there i'm genuinely confident that we're going to win that game i'm going to do a separate video before the game talking about it but until then We'll see you. Like the video, subscribe if you're new to the channel, notifications on because we might do a watch along that day. And gracias.